I study the effects of incivility on people. What is incivility? It's disrespect or rudeness. It includes a lot of different behaviors, from mocking or belittling someone to teasing people in ways that sting, to telling offensive jokes, to texting in meetings. So we launched a study on the effects of incivility on performance in the bottom line, and what we found was eye-opening. We sent a survey to business school alumni working in all different organizations, and we asked them to write a few sentences about one experience where they were treated rudely, disrespectfully, or insensitively, and to answer questions about how they reacted. One person told us about a boss that made insulting statements like, "That's kindergartner's work," and another tore up someone's work in front of the entire team. And what we found is that incivility made people less motivated. 66% cut back work efforts, 80% lost time worrying about what happened, and 12% left their job. Cisco read about these numbers and estimated conservatively incivility was costing them $12 million a year. But what about if you're not the one who experiences it? What if you just see or hear it? In another study in a small group, we tested the effects of a peer insulting a group member. Now, what we found was really interesting, because witnesses' performance decreased too, and not just marginally, quite significantly. Incivility is a bug; it's contagious, and we become carriers of it just by being around it. So, if incivility has such a huge cost, why do we still see so much of it? The number one reason is stress. People feel overwhelmed. The other reason that people are not more civil: they believe they'll appear less leader-like. They wonder, do nice guys finish last? Well, it turns out in the long run, they don't. In a biotechnology firm, colleagues and I found that those that were seen as civil were twice as likely to be viewed as leaders, and they performed significantly better. Why does civility pay? Because people see you as an important and a powerful, unique combination of two key characteristics: warm and competent, friendly and smart. So, where do you start? How can you lift people up and make people feel respected? Well, the nice thing is, it doesn't require a huge shift. Small things can make a big difference. I found that thanking people, sharing credit, listening attentively. Humbly asking questions, acknowledging others, and smiling has an impact. What I know from my research is that when we have more civil environments, we're more productive, creative, helpful, happy, and healthy. We can do better. Each one of us can be more mindful and can take actions to lift others up around us, at work, at home, online, in schools. In in our communities, in every interaction, think: Who do you want to be?